Hello and welcome and in this video we're gonna have a look at the newly released Mini Champs Williams Renault FW16 of the 1994 Formula 1 season and this is of course a car driven by Ayrton Senna during his last race at uh, San Marino. This was uh, released on the Ayrton Senna shop and you can see the box is beautifully made with the uh, colors of his helmet. On both sides you have um, all of the information which is the same basically and then uh, oh yeah on the bottom you have all the model car information so metal diecast car and it's produced under license of the Ayrton Senna Institute and exclusively for the Ayrton Senna shop by mini champs of course so let's open it up it's a flipped up box as you can see on the inside you have a picture of uh, Ayrton at the San Marino Grand Prix and uh, this model has been made before this is a re-release and it is uh, limited it's a limited edition it's limited to 394 pieces mine is number 135 and then some more information on the base and um, a cool thing is that uh, you can see the tobacco decals are actually missing due to legal issues of course and a very cool thing is that you actually can um, you have the uh, tobacco decals in this little pouch that many chance provided so let's open it up and have a look at said decals so I'm gonna do a jump cut now and um, place the decals on the model and then continue with the video so let's uh, let's do that now so here we go and here we have all the missing logos on it and it immediately looks so much better the decals provided by mini champs were a bit difficult to work with sometimes they were very sticky so it was hard to place them in the uh, exact position but uh, yeah in the end I'm pretty happy with the uh, with the results but let's uh, remove the model from uh, the box now so we can have um, a better look around it so yeah the new version of mini champs it's a whole new mold so um, it's actually a brand new model car basically and uh, immediately you can see there are lots of details on it which uh, wasn't present on the on the previous version I think that was released back in 2004 I'm, I'm certain that there was a um, release in 2004 for the 10th anniversary and I think it's the tobacco version um, the one with the factory fitted tobacco version which I have uh, right here and uh, which we're, we'll be uh, comparing to the new version so here we go this is the old version with the uh, uh, factory fitted uh, tobacco decals and you can immediately see how much different it looks even though it's the same car um, so yeah that's what uh, 15 years or even more of um, development model making development does I did add a little camera to uh, to that model back in the day and uh, did some tire markings which I always do but for some reason only on the left side I think I forgot doing them on the right side as you can see I didn't even do this one and that one I just started to um, to do it but um, yeah let's have a look at the details on both model cars and see how much the new model has improved so um, here we have both of them and um, on the right side is uh, the old one the older mold the original tobacco release back from 2004 and then this uh, new release with a new uh, totally new mold and um, as you can see they kind of look alike but if you look at the details you'll see they're totally different beasts so let's start at the front and the front wing and uh, on the old version you can see it's very plasticky very plain well of course the design is the same the design of the car is the same so it's gonna be plain on the other one as well but not as plasticky and uh, actually the old version has uh, two different wing parts 
so you can uh, see there's a slot in between the shape of the wing is correct and then you have these uh, these body panels that shouldn't be there because it's a mini champs body panel let's say because of the uh, bottom of the car was um, is plastic and the top is uh, metal or die cast and um, that was to give the car steering functionality which uh, the new one doesn't have by the way so yeah then the suspension it's very plain very plasticky just plastic parts same goes for the uh, brake duct there as well and there's a little antenna missing on the top of the cockpit here you have the body panels that are should be there and then the wheels they look okay I did some uh, tire markings as I said which I usually do on my models and then uh, you do have the rims with the OZ branding and the wheel nut is very simple and uh, the brake discs behind it and the calipers as well you can see through the rim but uh, the brake calipers are very plain so the new version looks um, already a lot better you have the carbon texture on the black part and uh, so there's no slots no cutout here which is a bit of a shame because they did it on the old one but yeah that's uh, mini champs logic for you and the whole parts the whole rest of the front wing the the nose and the the main part of the front wing is much more refined and it's much better shaped it's a bit thicker which i think is correct and the nose is much more refined so you don't have the body panel lines here because the whole uh, chassis of the whole body of the car is uh, one piece so it looks uh, a whole lot better of course so all the body panels you'll see are there on the real car as well so the suspension also is very much um, improved with the uh, parts connecting to the cockpit as you can see you even have in molded into the nose these uh, little screws and then the uh, little antenna on top which was missing on the old one and then the wheels have been um, improved a lot especially the rim as you can see it's much more detailed again with the OZ racing decals but also with the um, extra little details like the little Williams logo over there and then on the spokes of the rim you also have the OZ racing and Williams well it's upside down okay. the Williams uh, logo there and uh, you can see through the rim the brake calipers with the uh, temperature gauge and the AP racing uh, branding on it and the wheel nut has been improved a lot as well on the rear the same story you can see the brake caliper through it there's a little um, part that's less good about the new version of the rims and uh, it's the yellow band as you can see there's a bit of an overlap on the decal and uh, it's on all four of them actually and it is quite noticeable quite visible if you look at it from uh, close up so that's a bit of a shame that uh, it's uh, where is it yeah you can see it here as well so um, it's not very good but uh, it's only if you look at it from really close by then the new version also has the correct window which doesn't follow the body shape of the cockpit as you can see and the mirrors have been uh, moved back as well in the correct position now with a little rivet decal on top then the helmet shape has been improved a lot as well and they even tried to replicate the bell helmet shape that um, Ayrton was using in 1994 with the little vents at the front and uh, the top vents as well as you can see and um, just to compare I have a um, bell made half scale helmet here as well also with the original tobacco branding the original release with the uh, yeah, factory tobacco branding as I said and then you can see you have the little indents on the front which you also have on the on the model uh, on the model car and then these uh, vents on the front and then the 
little gills in the vents on the back which has been uh, beautifully replicated in 118 scale on the car so let's have a further look at the cockpit as I said the whole body is one whole piece so behind the driver yeah that's part of the body as you can see and uh, it's quite different on the old version as you'll see uh, in a minute so the figurine is also much better too bad the seat belts aren't um, cloth I did uh, put some extra decals on the different decals on the arms because the ones provided by Minichamps weren't totally correct and the Rothmans lettering is missing on the on the body of the driver which I will uh, try to rectify later on and the steering wheel has been much improved it's actually textured as you can see with a little carbon and with a uh, yeah some lettering on it and branding same goes for the dashboard and then inside the cockpit you even have these uh, stickers or scrutineering uh, logos which of course is a very cool uh, cool thing as you'll see on the old model it's a whole different story uh, starting with the um, <coughs> little window as you can see it's just just follows the shape of the cockpit which is uh, wrong the mirrors are in the wrong place as well it should be further back as you can see and then behind the driver as I said these are two different parts the airbox intake and the part behind the driver's head I did add the little camera I already mentioned it um, to it and then the helmet is um, generic shape which is still pretty good I think but uh, it's not as good as the uh, actual shape of course and then the body of the driver is also very simple and there's almost no detail on the steering wheel the dashboard and uh, never mind the uh, extra logos on the inside of the cockpit then you have the fuel filler cap behind the driver on the uh, right side because the Imola circuit had the pits on the right side and it's just a decal as you can see and on the new version it's uh, it's yeah much better so here you have the camera that was on the model as standard and then uh, the fuel filler cap as you can see it's 3d and looks so much better and then the little electrical cutoff valve the little cutoff ring is also um, there and then this little neutral button behind the driver's shoulder I never noticed that before and these uh, kind of details are very good also the air intake of the airbox is very different it's actually shaped as it should be and not um, in two different parts as you can see here where the metal meets the uh, plastic but that was the way they did it back then then the floor of the car very uh, plain and simple yet again um, I mean the texture of it because the cars were much simpler back then and the same goes for the rear suspension where they try to replicate the flat suspension but it's very plasticky and you have these um, little knobs on it as well where it connects to uh, the rear wheel support or rear wheel thingy and then the arrow they got it correct with the very shallow rear wing cord and uh, the rest of the wing is quite plasticky as well as you can see the black parts are just black the end plates have a little detail in it but uh, that's basically it and same goes for the uh, diffuser in the whole back of the car very plain and simple almost uh, no extra detailing you do have the exhaust sticking out but uh, that's basically it on the new version you'll see there's slightly more detail in the floor and it's also um, carbon textured here we go now you can see it and the same goes for the uh, rear wing and the rear wing beam as you can see the lower rear wing beam which has been carbon textured and the insides of the end plates as well 
And in the rear wing, they do have the shallow cord as well on the new version. And uh, the Rothmans uh, decal came with a black line in it to make it look like the flaps are separate. Here again, you can see the carbon texturing. Then the diffuser is slightly different as well. And the rear suspension, as you can see, this is uh, has some carbon texturing on it as well. And you do have it the same on the brake scoop. And then the diffuser, as I said, this uh, is actually opened up. On the old version, it was closed and the uh, exhausts are visible as well. The rear wing end plates are also much more um, detailed, as you can see. They have the same style of detail on it as the old one, but then some extra holes and um, well, connecting parts and everything and rivets, which uh, make it look much, uh, much better, of course. So yeah, of course, it's uh, maybe not very fair to compare both of them, since there's at least 15 years of uh, model making development in between the two. But uh, it's a huge improvement, and if you didn't get the old one, get this one, it's really beautiful. I think Minichance will release a standard version as well, so no, not with the Ayrton Senna flip top box and everything, um, which won't be as limited as this one, but the model car will be exactly, exactly the same, so um, yeah, if you don't have the old one, get this one, it's really good. If you're a Senna fan, get it. It's um, a very, very good model by Minichamps and a huge improvement over the old one, as I said. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Sorry, it was a bit long, but uh, yeah, there was lots to talk about and uh, I hope to see you soon for a next one and thanks for watching. Bye.